Hey there you guys and welcome back to the channel or if you're new here then welcome today I have an exciting video for you guys because I'm actually doing a collaboration with a few other ASM artists here on YouTube I'm so excited to be doing this this is my first collaboration um, and we're basically gonna just be talking about our experiences here on the ASMR community. I will have their channels linked below, so please go check out their channels and show them some love. But yeah, if that is something that you are interested in seeing and hearing, then keep on watching. So to introduce myself, my name is Kat, and this is my ASMR channel, Relax Me ASMR. Um, I started this channel back in August of this year, so 2022 so i'm still kind of a new asmr channel if you will um i discovered asmr i want to say in 2017 um or around that time frame is when i first discovered asmr i can't remember exactly how it came about i think it was just kind of like one of those recommended videos and i happened to click it and i was just kind of hooked after that and so i do listen to asmr pretty much every night um i don't know what it is it just helps really you know relax me so i've been an asmr lover for a long time now and I've always wanted to do my own ASMR channel, um, but, you know, I've been just kind of, like, nervous about it, mainly because of what people would think. Um, I know that the ASMR community on YouTube is huge, and so many people love it, um, but in my personal life, I don't really know a lot of people that listen to ASMR, and so I kind of felt like they would look at me weird for liking it, um, let alone making videos about it, you know, so that was one thing I was nervous about, and then also I was just kind of nervous because there's just so many ASMR channels out there, and I felt like how could I even compete with these really big channels, like I would never, I don't even think I could ever be on that level, you know, like, if I'm being honest, like, and I know I probably shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to myself, um, but I am my own worst enemy, and I am my biggest critic, I think, um, and, yeah, I don't know, I was kind of going on a tangent there, but, yeah, so... One day, though, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, we're gonna see what happens, and thus ASMR, Relax Me ASMR, was created. So, that's why, what inspired me, how I got into ASMR. Um, my first video I posted was a, like a Sephora haul slash first impressions video um and I posted that video August 24th of this year and it did okay it really didn't get that many views I think as of right now let me check because I have my notes right here yeah as of right now it is at 159 views which again it's been almost like two months now so really not a lot of views for my first video um and I did get a few comments but they didn't happen right away um so at first I was a little bit just discouraged um because of the view count and because I wasn't getting a lot of interaction but I also didn't want that to let me down or like to let to make me feel down I guess um because I know I'm new it's my first video so like I guess I almost like expected to get not that many views but um my goal was to just kind of try to stay consistent which is why if you guys don't already know I do have a schedule uh for my videos so I post every Wednesday 
same exact time um, and sometimes I will post other videos um, but those are kind of just like bonus videos if I do them but you can always guarantee a video every Wednesday um, and I feel like that's kind of a big part with being a YouTube channel in general is having a good schedule that way people know when to look for your videos and you're just always coming out with content whether it's every a couple videos every week, a couple videos every month, I think. It's really important to have a schedule. Um, and again, sorry if I keep looking over here. I just want to look at my notes and make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, now, when I before I even started ASMR, um, I noticed a lot of people, you know, using special microphones and backdrops and just having like cute little setups in the back which I tried to do today <laughs> um or you know just like having little props and stuff like that and when I first started I didn't have anything at least I wouldn't say I had anything like extra but I did have some stuff previously like I have a camera I have a ring light I've had this ring light for a very long time now um mainly for taking photos um and I have done other AS not ASMR videos but I have done other videos I actually have a vlog channel that I tried doing a little bit over a year ago and it just to say the least I have a lot less subscribers and views and I've been doing it for over a year now and so I just kind of I don't know what I, I don't want to say gave up but I'm taking a break because vlogging channel is not doing so well but I also can understand my vlogging channel is not really that interesting I'm just showing my life and my life is not that interesting <laughs> but so I did have, getting back on track, I did have a camera, I did have the ring light, I do have like one of those little mini microphones that connects to your camera, but I didn't have anything fancy like the Blue Yeti microphone, I don't have a green screen, I don't have any of that stuff that you see a lot of ASMR channels using. Um, and for my first couple of videos, I just used what I had, um, but... I just felt like, you know, my videos just weren't sounding that well. Um, so I did end up biting the bullet and I did buy a Blue Yeti microphone. It's funny because I'm actually not using it for this video, um, oddly enough, because I'm kind of having a little bit of trouble with that, um, specifically background noise. So. To be able to use my Blue Yeti microphone, at least the way that I've done it, um, is I like have to like hook it up to my laptop and then I have to like record the audio on my laptop and then record my video on here. <laughs> and sometimes the laptop can get really, really loud with the fan and then it just makes a lot of background noise and I'm trying to avoid that with this video um, so I think I may be trying something else in the future to possibly connect my microphone to my camera but I need something like a cord for that my goodness I keep rambling I'm so sorry guys um, but yeah so I ended up buying a microphone and I have bought a few little props here and there um, I actually have a Halloween video coming out at the end of October, which I'm so excited about and I cannot wait for you guys to see it because it's kind of like one of the first videos that I'm doing where I'm like really going all out um, as far as makeup, hair, uh, outfit, you know, all of that. So I'm super excited for that, but all that to say that I have purchased a few things um, since making my channel to try and make it better. Okay, so next we're going to be talking about the ASMR community. 
as a whole and um, the interactions I've had, if I've done any collaborations, stuff like that. So I've never personally like reached out to anybody to do collaborations up until this point just because I don't know, I kind of felt a little bit intimidated um, by the bigger channels and I felt like, you know, they probably wouldn't want to do one with me anyways, you know? Um, but I did reach out, um, through comments of several videos from big ASMR channels to not as big, but still bigger than mine. Um, and just leaving a comment on their video, you know, saying, you know, I love your video. I've been watching you for a long time. I recently started my own ASMR channel and it would mean so much to me if you would check it out and let me know what you thought and stuff like that. And most of the time when I left comments like that, I would not hear anything. I would not, it was basically ignored, which kind of made me sad a little bit because I feel like when I comment on videos, and I just say something like, oh, great video, oh, I loved your video, or something like that, I'll usually get more interaction, um, whether it's just like a heart or them commenting back saying thank you or something like that, than when I am like actively trying to reach out and get some advice, I guess. So it kind of makes me sad that it's like they're willing to... I don't know. Like they'll take the compliment, but then if somebody is asking for their help or their general thoughts about something, they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you know? So like, it kind of makes me sad. Um, but that's just kind of like what I've personally gone through and have seen in the community. Um, and yeah, but regardless of you know, reaching out and not hearing anything. Um, I actually did post one video that actually did really, really well. Um, and I was actually really proud of that video, even though it wasn't perfect. And there were some parts in it that I didn't like and like I tried fixing, but I couldn't figure out how to fix it. And I was so close to almost not posting that video just because I'm almost like a perfectionist a little bit and so when a video doesn't turn out exactly how I imagine it, I get really frustrated with myself and I just beat myself up about it. But um, at this point, because I am such a smaller channel, I am kind of still trying to post the videos almost because I think it would be good for me to see, you know, where I have, where I started and then how much better I get as I go on in the future with this. Um, and seeing my growth and not only in how my videos are, how the editing is, but you know, also, you know, gaining the subscribers and the views and stuff like that. Um, it's just really cool to see. Um, that's why if you guys haven't noticed in my description box, since day one, I've put a subscriber count. Um, and like from the first video I did, obviously I had zero subscribers when I first started. Um, and then just from each video that I've posted, I've slowly gained a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until the one video that I did, it actually got like, I think it's at 12,000 views right now. And I gained a lot of subscribers from that video and I'm so thankful and grateful and I just, I got a lot of good comments and likes on that video and it just made me feel really good and like people were actually liking my work and like what I was doing and I'm getting like emotional. I don't like what is wrong with me? I'm sorry. I'm Pisces, but <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, it just made me really happy and that like I made something that a lot of people actually liked and kind of gives me, you know, 
the motivation to keep going and keep making videos and even though I have made videos since that one and they haven't done as well um again it just it doesn't affect me that much just because you know I know not every video is gonna get the same amount of views and everything um and it's just the roll of the dice I guess I don't know <laughs> and I feel like with every video so far that I've made that my editing has gotten better um some videos not so much just because you know I am trying a bunch of new different things that I've never done before so it's almost like you know trying to kind of figure out what works best what doesn't work and all that kind of stuff but I know I feel like I do struggle with um, background noise still very much um, for many reasons. One, I live in an apartment and I feel like you can hear pretty much any step they take upstairs, um, anything, any kind of noise outside you can like hear like that. Um, and I also am limited most of the time filming at night because I do have a crazy two-year-old and there's no way I can get a calm and relaxing video during the day with her. Um, so limited to nights. Um, but I just feel like, I don't know, like even when I have nothing on, it's almost like I can still hear fans or something up here, even though I have the air off in this room. But it is what it is. I try my best, but I still struggle with it still to this day. Um, so that is one thing I do struggle with and really bothers me and annoys me so much when I hear background noise in my own videos. I don't necessarily care if it's in other people's videos, but like I said, it's that perfectionist in me that like I want it to be silent, you know? So. Yeah, but don't get me wrong, I feel like my videos have gotten a lot better since I started, but there is always room for improvement. All in all, the whole point of this video was to give you guys a little bit of a background about me and what inspired me to start an ASMR channel and some of the struggles that I've had to deal with um, and some of my successes that I've had so far. And although, you know, I am a small, one small channel out of many small channels and large channels, um, all of us, you know, put a lot of effort and hours into thinking of the videos we want, preparing the videos, filming the videos, editing the videos, and putting them out for you guys. And I guess we just kind of want to be recognized because even though we are smaller channels we still put in a lot of effort for our videos so hi my name is kat this is my asmr channel relax me asmr and the number of views i may have or the number of subscribers i may or may not have does not define me it does not define my content being good or bad and it does not define my worth let's break this stigma of smaller asmr channel a smaller asmr channels being undervalued or underappreciated just because we're not as big as the other channels are yet um because at the end of the day you know we all started from a zero so let's just be a little bit nicer to each other um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Stay tuned for the other girls to hear their experiences and I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.